have the black church lost its way? The black church was a place for refuge for black people during tough times in America. Despite what you may feel about the history of Christianity and the black church in the United States and how it's been said that it was passed down to blacks from slave masters. If you study history, it goes way, way back. And not actually um, Christianity itself, but the origin of the religion and the way. The black church was always regarded as a place where we as a people can turn to a place of goodwill, safety, spiritual direction, unity, love among each other, community building, investing in each other. And the church invest in the community. It was the backbone. We look at all the great cities, black cities across the United States, the 20th century. Even when we talk about Tulsa, Oklahoma, Black Wall Street, the black church was always mentioned at the highest height. The black church has been very pivotal in organizing, having underground involvement in some radical things that we may not hear about a lot. But it wasn't just a place of worship. It's a place we can find some form of hope, possibility, and reasoning all the matters that we was going through. But fast forward to now, I understand that nothing stays the same. We're in a revolving, evolving world. And for me, When I look at the black church now and churches everywhere, and I look at the black community and how desperately the black community need help. And when I say need help, I'm not just talking about financial. I'm talking about spiritual, mental, emotional, physical. The black community is at the bottom of every list. The black community get treated severely compared to white counterparts and other groups. I'm not saying other groups don't get discriminated against, but I'm saying when you look at the suppression, the targeting, police violence, the lack of help from the government, among other things, speak volumes. Today we don't see the black church investing in its people. We see big old churches in very poor neighborhoods selling salvation. In my opinion, commercializing Spirituality, 
and a connection with God. Because why do these big churches do not invest in the community, but they say they want to help in Africa overseas when they got people that live up the street from them that badly can pay their bills, badly can feed their family, badly can take care of themselves. And not just because it's their fault, but because of oppressive government that refused to give the funding, to create opportunity for the youth, to make it better for families. This government time and time and time again have popped the line, have chosen whites over blacks, have chosen other groups over blacks. Even though there's civil rights that's supposed to help us, you have immigrants, LGBTQ community, and women getting the rights that blacks not getting. Then on top of it, you have police that's in black community that's militarizing it and keeping it in check. You have corporations that refuse to hire your black people and refuse to pay them properly. There is so many things that the black church can address and try to fix, right? And I'm not saying it's their responsibility in totality, but if you're having hundreds and thousands of people come to you and you're talking about God and Jesus and you talk about these stories, why have it culminated into showing living examples of how, and I'm not just not saying showing, I'm not talking about verbalizing. See, the problem with progress, progress is not just a thing when you just tell somebody about it. Sometimes you have to demonstrate and show it. And sometimes you have to invest in the very people. And as a community, we have been unable to do that. And when I watch the black church and its ability to gather many, many melanated people, and speak about the gossip, gossip of Jesus and speaking about the Bible, I don't see how, when you look at the real problems in our community, socially, politically, economically, how it help us, as well as the mental health issue. I don't believe no man of God that speaks about God, speak about Jesus, speak about the Bible, speak about prophets, speak about things that they believe to be true and that they believe the living God is able to move their soul is not pressing the issue of the empowerment and not investing in the community and helping rise people up. It is sad to say in 2023, the church has become a circus. It's really sad to say that I heard that some black churches are paying Baptist associations, organizations, dues or what have you for retirement. We're considering the white church and how it treated the black church and black people. This is very alone. And sometimes it questions whether well, they want to go all the way and press on issues that's more pressing than talk to the normal rhetoric, in my opinion about the gospel of Jesus and God when we have real issues. What happened investing in small businesses? I just in our community. What happened in helping sisters and brothers? The church advertised donations, etc. all the time. But when you go to church and you've been going for so long and when you do ask for something or you need help for a bill or something important they got to go through all your bills they got to ask you all kind of questions 
want to go through all your finances and what have you. They didn't want you to take classes and all this, that, and other. A lot of it's just a joke. They're running churches like businesses. They're building off the poor people and refusing to invest into communities. It's a disgrace to see big mega black churches that's being built and driving in poor communities and they're not investing in it. This has been on my heart for so long that I finally found a peace of mind to talk about it. It's not easy to talk about some of this because I know how we are about God, Jesus, Christianity, and what have you. But we are losing our way in so many ways. And I'm not even going to talk about the buddy, buddy, all right stuff that go in the church. If you give so much money, you have a title that you automatically, you know, are giving up that special attention. This audio went very longer than what I expected. But I hope people understand that all they're trying to say is the black church had a responsibility. Not just bring the gospel of Jesus and talk about the Bible, but also address, and I'm not just talking about preaching or verbalizing. I'm also talking about putting boots on the ground and investing in communities that really need the help. They really need to deal with the different vices and evils that's coming their way. You can't speak about God without speaking about the devil, right? And, you know, the devil in his own way, you know, we know the spirit, or we told the spirit, work to others and what have you. And if we know this, God expects for us to not just address it, but do something about it. The only thing we got to do is go back in the history, just in this country, the connection between the black church, the black community, and black businesses. This is not denounced black churches that are doing something, and black people in the church, pastors, ministers, elders, what have you, that are doing something. It's just a, this is just an attempt to call out what I see to be grossly mismanaged situation by black churches that prey on poor black people. And it become a fad to have a church and say I'm a Christian, be a great orator, recite top of our head scripture and what have you. Be given some oratorial speeches, but it lacks substance. And when you lack substance, you lack a foundation. When you lack a foundation, you really lack traces of being godly. And as we know, people are good at putting on when the time where there's more fraudulent things going around us, a lot of lying, deception, and what have you. I call the church today. I call our people that listen to all you that go to a black church. This needs to be addressed. I know we're in a time whereas there is so many moving things going around us. And a lot of times it, it falls on deaf ears because there are so many moving factors that's playing a major part in our demise. And how we also play a part in our demise. Look, this major, major TV, I just want to talk about the black church. Thank you for listening. Thank you for all the love and support. Y'all stay focused, stay strong, and just be you. Peace.